Welcome back to Thompson Teardown. Today we are finally going to show you the finished laundry room, which is so charming. And we are actually going to check out a potential new property. Yeah, timing a lion. I just found it last night, so. Yeah, Ryan wanted so. to get it sight unseen. I don't play that. I was like, cool it, big fella. So we're. Oh, I know a deal when I see one. <laughs> we're moving quick. We're going to go check it out and uh, we'll take you along with us. Also, <laughs> you've probably seen Ryan Staples ad. It's literally all over the city. I get like three people texting me a day, like, is this your husband? I'm like, yes. Don't hate, you know, it pays the bills, you know. I don't think that one did actually. Yeah, it pays the bills. So. I, I don't think it did at all. We had a lot of over expenses on this build, so you know, I'm out here hustling. Yeah. Whether that's with Staples or with your grinding service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. The machine. Go on. Capitalize. <laughs> so, laundry room. Um, good news is some updates for you. So, the counter slabs are being sent over to the fabricator. Okay. So, that will be ready to go. Um, the hanging rod for over the machines arrived yesterday. Okay. So, that's great. I got it on Black Friday deal. Woohoo! Um, and I ordered the sink as well for here. Just me literally frothing at the mouth because this beautiful custom marble sink just arrived. I am dead a thousand times obsessed. Okay. So nice. So nice. So that's going to be coming in the next couple weeks. And I gave you the paint color mm -hmm. for the millwork. This is going to have to get moved up a touch. Which it does. It's fine, but... Um, that's just the, the one thing, right? Because this was this was based on a lower height, like the typical is counter it, height. Is it super? Is it super annoying to move? No, we just cut the pecs here, make it longer, put a coupling. Okay, so this is real life, guys. That is my children. That's that okay. we're supposed to be sick today. That's okay. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, counters, the cabinets are ordered. I'm just so excited to actually have this and the mudroom finished because both the spaces with these beautiful floors have not been able to be enjoyed. I've enjoyed it when I come in here. Oh, you do? Yeah, and I'm like, ooh, look at this. Is that what you do? <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, that great. great. I'm glad. Well, it's going to be even better. All right. Okay. So we just completed our walkthrough of the house and um, yeah, I don't think Michelle's making comments about me <laughs> wanting to make offers sight unseen. I am actually so pleasantly surprised guys, like I never get excited really about properties. I'm pretty neutral, like I can say, oh you know, like yeah, this would look great, we can make it beautiful, I see the potential. But this one was just so unassuming, I walked in and I was like, I was like, I want it. <laughs> Yeah, Michelle could not contain her emotions. When we walked in, we had to kind of cool Michelle down a bit because <laughs> she liked it a lot. And yeah, I mean, that's good, but we don't want to be too too happy about it. We want to be sure that uh, you know it's a, a good opportunity, and we don't want the uh, sellers to know how how much how motivated. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it is important not to buy with emotion as much as you do right. like it. You want to purchase the property uh, based on comparable sales. You want to pay the right price, even though you may emotionally yeah. fall in love with it. That might not be the best reason to buy it. Calm. Calm down. It's okay. Like, it's fine. I was just, <laughs> I was excited. It's very rare to see such a, a well-kept house that already has a great layout that is so much square footage to work with. Like, there's really so many possibilities with this place like I I'm like fingers crossed like I will actually be sad if it's not mine <laughs> we met Ryan and Michelle a number of years ago as a matter of fact I met Ryan before meeting Michelle uh, his moving company used to do That's a right. lot of jobs for us and yeah. then 
he introduced us to Michelle, gosh, uh, I feel like it's seven years ago. There's been a number of sales that we've done together and they're amazing to work with. We, we love their energy, we love their ideas and uh, they're honestly great clients and also good friends too. They've been lots of fun to work with. Yeah, yeah so we just saw a fantastic house today. This is in South Etobicoke, an area we specialize in and it checks so many boxes. Uh, the curb appeal is amazing. You got this double wide, huge driveway, double car garage, and then the house itself, you have no idea how big it is from the outside. It's massive, and the layout is amazing, honestly. It's, it's a, so exciting to see. It's a good opportunity, too. It's, um, it's an estate sale, and it's uh, an offer date. There'll be, it's priced properly. A lot of people will be looking at it. And if they like it, which I think they do, um, we should act fast. It's a, it's a good property. There's a lot of square footage, like a lot of, a lot of levels. What are, you, what are you thinking? Yeah, it's a lot, but I think right off the bat, I'm obsessed with that entry, like I said. So I'd want to make that a little bit brighter. I don't know if we could do like some skylights, something cool like that. I just feel like it's so amazing, but a, a smidge dark. Okay. Um, and then in that living dining area, I would honestly keep the same configuration. Again, if we can maybe expand some of the windows, bring in some more light, I would want to do a like fireplace focal area, um, some cool lighting. And then really, I think like the big one on the main floor would be the kitchen. Again, I feel like the layout is cool and works, but like blow up that whole back wall. Like I want all glass. I want like some dope stone. I want like, again, like maybe not too many uppers to keep it fresh, cool light fixture. I'm thinking like an island, maybe in like a different orientation or maybe like a banquette, even like a breakfast area, something cool in there. Okay, okay. And I think like the ceiling height, you know, being that it's a little bit older, I'm gonna see if we could maybe like vault or do a tray or something just to get like, ceiling height's not bad, but just to get a little bit more in there. If we could vault, like again, the entry is so good, but if we could vault even just, let's say the kitchen a little bit, okay. I would love that. But I, again, the, feelings, the ceilings didn't feel too bad for me. I more just want to bring in more light where we can. Okay. So like I'd be okay with a skylight. Okay, okay. And then like the stairwell, like those stairs, going up to the second floor are like massive. I so love it. we don't need to like do much there, probably like sand it, stain it a different color. Yeah, um, yeah, the stairs themselves are great, but I think I would want to do something cool with um, like the sides. Maybe we do like a drywall kind of stairwell, something cool, cool railing. I don't know exactly yet, but I just feel like again, that like money shot right when you walk in and also that shot like looking down into the front yeah. area i just feel is like so good yeah and then the second floor all of the bedrooms are massive there's already an ensuite up there easy and there's a shared bath um i don't want to get ahead of myself but like i feel like there could be a kind of a laundry shoot situation you've been dying to I do know. a laundry shoot. i know i have and i'm like you know i don't for we don't even own the house yet but i was like looking and i was like wait like i guarantee that's going to be the conversation yeah that's, that's going to be what sells it honey it's not like, the oh kitchen. wow yeah they saw they that laundry shoot that cinched it man mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. when they saw that that's just they're like yeah. well, over asking yep, yep. Like, um, this little linen closet looks to almost be a straight shoot to the basement I I am so on board for a fun shoot. Yeah, I think yeah. that is so fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know, I like to have my little your little my special little, my little features. Your little RT feature. <laughs> what was it at ours again? Skylights. Oh skylights yeah. In See the there. There you go. Yeah. And I know you're gonna want to add another bedroom, which I think absolutely we should. Just given the square footage, it's like a miss not to. Honestly, I think what I would want to do is that little like half down area off the main floor, I would mm -hmm. want to make a wicked primary suite. I'm mm -hmm. talking that whole large Where, that room, room. Yeah, that has thing? the walkout. Yeah. I'm thinking make that the main bedroom with massive closet and then the room that's adjacent to it convert to the bathroom. Yo, that would be crazy. Like that master suite. That's, this like, is what I'm saying. Like when I look at this place, I'm like excited because there's so much potential. Yeah, that that would be crazy. That's that in itself. Like just that main area is like, it's gonna sell immediately.
We are here in the small but mighty laundry room. So before we get into the design details, fun fact, this is one of two rooms in the house that does not have a window. And we toyed with the option of putting a window behind me over the sink area, but that would have affected the front elevation of the house. So we opted not to. And I really wanted to kind of lean into that much like we did for the powder room, which is the other windowless room and have a little bit of fun and go a little bolt. So we already had the beautiful checkerboard floor that we repeated from the mud room downstairs. That is a great tip to kind of repeat certain patterns or colors or materials to have cohesion in the whole home. But we already had this and then I knew I wanted to do something fun with the walls. So we brought in this beautiful kind of um, mustardy, saffrony floral print. I absolutely love it. I think it is so fun but still sophisticated i love the tone and we paired that with this really beautiful light blue cabinetry i just i'm obsessed with that pairing right now the mustard and the light blue um the color is actually called light blue it's by pharaoh and ball i had not used it before myself and i love it so much this will be a repeat color for me and then we brought in this beautiful scalloped marble sink, which you cannot miss. You see it right when you come up the stairs and it is just so lovely. And all of the fixtures in here are a polished nickel. So again, different from the rest of the house, still has a little bit of that warm hint to it to go with everything, but um, I'm a big fan with how it turned out. Last thing I'm gonna mention in here are the beautiful countertops. You may recognize them as the same ones we have upstairs in our primary bath. They are Matterhorn by Handstone. I love them. Again, just so natural looking, really organic. You would think that maybe a little bit too bold of a choice when there's already a lot of other stuff going on, but I actually love how it ties everything in and such a great function to be able to actually now fold in here. We have hanging racks, we have dryway units. So again, small but mighty and have fun in your laundry room, folks. Next time on Thompson Teardown.